Now, this video is gonna be considered, I wanna say like a RAND video, but it's really just me getting my thoughts about the state of Pokemon fan games and ROM hack. But before we get into this video, let me give you guys a background of myself. My name is Sacred Almighty, or Nick, Sacred, whatever you wanna call me, it is totally fine, I don't care. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you have not pre-ordered Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for the Nintendo Switch, you can do so right now in the description section below or in the pinned comments. You have from right now until October 1st to get your copy Piece. Oh yeah, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and let me know you use the link at Gucci Conti. And thank you so much, Best Buy, for the amazing opportunity. Enjoy the rest of the video. But I cover a lot of Pokemon fan games and ROM hacks, especially when the new Pokemon games are taking their sweet times in releasing, and we pretty much have nothing to play in regards to the Pokemon games. You know, like when games like Pokemon Unite come and go, and like their buzz kind of fizzle out, and there's nothing else to play Pokemon-wise. I'm the one that's playing like the Pokemon fan games and the ROM hacks and pretty much I don't want to say being the sole reason or the sole purpose but like I'm giving people more games to play as we wait for the newer games to come out but being that guy I'm not gonna lie to you I have noticed a really really I don't want to say bad but I don't want to say good trend in the Pokemon ROM hack and fan game sphere but I am starting to see a lack of quality and novelty when it comes to these Pokemon fan games and ROM hacks for example Example, Pokemon Insurgents, Pokemon Reborn, Pokemon Radical Red, Pokemon Renegade Platinum, Pokemon Inclement Emerald are all special ROM hacks and fan games in their own right. The problem comes when their knockoff sons come out and there isn't anything special to them. But I also notice there's a humongous difference in the community that consumes these type of games and they're split between the difficulty mods, you know, games like Radical Red and Renegade Platinum or Inclement Emerald where people come in and it's basically the exact same Pokemon game over and over again, but they just basically make the Pokemon better or they just give them Smogon sets and then you go crazy. And then you have the games like Reborn and Insurgents where it's an entirely new experience where it focuses more on stories and characters and more newer ideas and difficulty is almost like, I wanna say second fiddle, but at the same time being a real prevalent role in regards to the gym leaders and stuff. Now, both can exist. I'm not gonna lie to you, both can exist. I do love playing through difficulty ROM hacks, and I do love playing through games like Reborn and Insurgents and other games like that. But it's almost like people saw the success with Radical Red, and they basically just said, I'm gonna try to be the exact same. And not even like try to be different, they honestly, word for word, copy the radical red formula the whole aesthetic the whole thing the whole nine yards and just were like here here we go like i'm not gonna say any names but there's a fire red rom hack there's multiple fire red rom hacks actually that basically takes radical red and just adds on certain things and changes certain scripts and that's it they just put it out there and that's it and i don't want to be that guy but honestly as somebody that makes the content to give to the people and reading these comments and seeing what these people are saying about these people's games and then playing through it myself finally and seeing what they're talking about it's almost disappointing honestly like it's so crazy that games like pokemon glazed reborn insurgents get immensely like it on but then games like pokemon adventures red or radical red or even just recently the pokemon fusion 3 game that everybody was playing for a while that everybody is starting to make viral videos out on right now right these games go under the radar for so long and i always wondered why now obviously you know maybe these are some of these people's first times doing ROM hacks, maybe there's not that, maybe they're not that experienced in making a ROM hack into a fan game. Who knows? Let me tell you something to all the ROM hack and fan game developers out there. Trust me when I tell you the extra mile and the extra effort goes a long way. Now, I'm not saying like, oh, go crazy and put money into your game and buy custom music or go nuts with like hella stuff, but look at Pokemon games like Pokemon Gaia, for example. Pokemon Gaia has a couple of new tile sets most of it is just fire red with some new trainer sprites and new scripts and that's it they added the mega evolution thing into it and that's honestly all you have to do and i'm pretty sure there's like a more modded updated version of pokemon gaia out right now that basically adds more to it so i mean listen bro the opportunities 
and the possibilities are endless when it comes to that. And don't get me started on like the Spanish community. I don't know if anybody here can do me a favor and give this to them. Somebody please go post this like a Spanish fan game forum. But y'all are crazy, dude. I love a lot of the games in the Spanish community, but unfortunately they're not as, I guess, accessible versus our stuff where they can just kind of just play it and just play through the game and that's it. I would love if like more Spanish fan games and ROM hacks had like a copy to notepad mode where we could actually get like a translator, a, a program translator and just read through the dialogue ourselves if it's that serious. And no cap, the Spanish fan games and ROM hacks and like the even the Korean ones and the Chinese and the Japanese ones, Honestly, aesthetic wise, they're a lot better looking than any of the Pokemon games we have in English. I don't know what it is. I don't know who, I, I don't know. But listen, those games are really good. I don't know. But I'm happy there's a bunch of Pokemon fan games and ROM hacks for people to play through. Obviously, both completed and not completed. I just wish the ones that were completed or close to completion had a little more extra umph to them to make them different and special. Pokemon GX Chronicles was one of the games that I actually enjoyed a lot. One of the best Johto games I've played in forever. But for some reason, that game was missing out on modern Alolan forms and Galarian forms. Certain quality of life features were missing. And I guess, I don't know if the game is canceled now. I'm not sure. But it's just things like that is very disappointing to see from somebody that like actually likes playing through these games and like showcasing them to my audience and kind of just playing through them for fun, you know? But that's it. I just wanted to get this off my chest and out of, you know, out there to the ether for any Pokemon ROM hack and Fangon developers that care, for any YouTubers that, I don't know, that that want more. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know in the comments to all my peers and all my audience members. Let me know in the comment section below how you all feel about this stuff. Because I know it's not just me. I see a lot of comments and it's like, oh, these games are boring or, oh, how can you like these games? So and so and so and so. And who knows? Different strokes, different folks, who knows? But at the same time, I I feel like there is an audience that would be open to these games, seeing these type of games. And I don't know, I'm, I just wanna bridge the gap. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, make sure you guys leave a like and a comment, subscribe, obviously. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.